I'm told that it's a 90 to 95 percent possibility, a uh, surety rather, that Kevin Durant is going to New York. That's what I'm told, mm. that he and Kyrie Irving are coming to New York. Uh, you hear people saying that folks in Kyrie Irving's camp are trying to convince him to go the route of the Brooklyn Nets. But for all intents and purposes, he has every intent of coming to the Garden next year, and Kevin Durant has every intent of playing at Madison Square Garden next year. Not the Barclays Center in Brooklyn, not the Staples Center for the Clippers or the Lakers. They plan on coming to Madison Square Garden. Folks have stopped short of saying it's a sure thing, but they have used the exact words, 95% probability that Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving are coming to Madison Square Garden next season. Talking to our good friend Stephen A. Smith. is His show is before our show every day, one to three. I, I, I've got to come to you because you know these guys. From the outside looking in, Stephen, Kyrie Irving, sound, he seems strange. He seems unhappy. Uh, you know, we had the whole, a lot of the show yesterday. Should the Knicks even go after him? Does he give you more problems than he, uh, he gives solutions? What do you think? Well, it depends on the organization. If you're a winning organization, he may not be worth it. If you're the perpetually more of a Knicks, I don't give a damn what he comes with. You know, I don't give a damn if he comes with a bunch of chihuahuas attached to him. Take them. Take them all. Do whatever you got to do because you have nothing. And that's the reality of the situation. But I will say this. I am more desirable of having Kyrie Irving in New York if he comes with somebody than by himself. If you watched him against Milwaukee, he was simply overmatched. Um, you know, you can look at Boston and see the, the you know, just the, the tension that existed throughout the year. And clearly he had something to do with that. He can't be absolved completely from that. But Kyrie is a superstar talent. From a skill perspective, he is just something special to behold. But it's a big man's game to some degree when you have the elite guys. What are you going to do when the Greek freak is waiting in the lane for you? If you're Kyrie, not much. If you're Kevin Durant, no problem. Because Kevin Durant is that elite and he's seven feet tall. So it's just about looking at it from that perspective and understanding that you need bigger boys to play the game with. Kyrie is spectacular. He's somebody that I wouldn't mind at Madison Square Garden at all. But he's got to come with somebody. He can't come by himself. And that's what I would say to you about that.